Hello, this is NeedleCorners.com and this video will show you how to make this cute flower bookmark using a spool knitter. The first thing you need to do is to pass your yarn down through the spool knitter. For this project we will only be using two pegs. You need to wrap it around the first peg, then around from front to back around the second peg. The next thing you're going to wrap it around again and as you can see it's sort of like a figure eight that you're doing. You're going to take the bottom, pass it over the top, pull, take the bottom loop, pass it over the top and pull. Now you're going to do it again. And you're going to continue to do this until your um, cording measures about 24 inches. All right, now I've already have one that's made. Let me show you how you would end it. Here you can see I have my cord and it's about 24 inches long. Okay, I'm going to show you how to cast this off. You take the last loop that you um, stitch that you did, you pass it over the other peg, then take the loop on the bottom, and it goes over the top. You now take this loop off. Cut your yarn approximately 10 to 12 inches. Pass the end of the yarn through the loop and pull it tight. Now we're ready to start making the flower. You're going to measure about two and a half inches and place a pin. And you're going to make five sections two and a half inches long. The next thing you need to do is to place the yarn on a um, tapestry needle. I'm having a little trouble. Usually it goes very easy. Now, where the pin is, you're going to pinch your cording together and run the needle through on the end. Pinch the next one. Put the needle through. the next. Let's make one, one more petal. Okay. Now you want to anchor it and then tie a knot. Now 
and the knot can be right on this side because you're going to be putting a button on the top of it and you won't even see it. can add your button. I already have my needle threaded. times in one direction and then the other direction knot it on the back final step is on this end you still have your tail. You want to again thread the yarn into your needle it up the needle up through the cording a little bit pull it through cut it off and there you have your spool knitted flower bookmark Thank you for watching our video. If you like the video, please click on the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Find us on Facebook and share pictures of your project. Our Facebook name is Needle Pointers. We would love to see your projects. Also visit us at needlepointers.com for more spool knitting projects and instructions.